Hey everyone, it's Baron from Attack Interactive and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to set your UPS shipment method. So if you go on, your, on top of your system tab and click on configuration, if you could remember our shipping methods was under the um, sales. So let's go to that page and once again if you remember I covered flat rate, table rates and free shipping on our last video. I'm going to be covering UPS only but um, if you get this they all have the same layout so you can just apply it to other shipment methods alright so to enable this on the um, checkout page you gotta click yes and UPS type is gonna be left with default which is United Parcel Service um, title you can choose to change the title let's make it UPS so it's more obvious the gateway URL is where they get the prices where it gets the prices so this this is the link for the original UPS page where the costs are gonna be taken from this page so um, you can choose to create uh, one request which means you have some items or one item that they all have the same weight or you can choose to use origin weight uh, with few requests um, you can just change this anytime if you choose this and go to UPS if it's not correct they're just gonna um, show you the, your options and then you can just decide on what to use in the future so don't worry about making any mistakes here container this is the packaging if you're using your own packaging you should use customer packaging option or if you're gonna use one of the UPS um, packaging options you can just choose one of these here um, destination type if it's a residential or a commercial destination weight pounds or kilos pickup method if you um, you can have agreements with UPS where they pick your stuff every day or you can just choose customer counter where you drop your item to UPS store the package weight um, this is the default you can leave it as it as this is this is gonna be the maximum weight that is allowed and this is gonna be the minimum weight so keep it this way if you're not sure of what you're doing this is the standard settings for that you can always choose to add a handling fee you can um, put a fixed price or a percent of, of, of the of the item they're ordering um, let's just keep it fixed and let's keep it per package so per package um, um, the handling fee is gonna be two dollars per package but you can choose to apply it for an order where they can have five items or whatever allowed methods once again if you if it's blue it is allowed you can choose to allow one option two three or you can choose to select it all by clicking shift click alright free method you can choose to have a ground shipping perhaps which takes like a week or eight days you can choose to use this as a free option or you can choose none as a free option or you can add a um, minimum order amount where if your customer buys five items you can choose to make that free in this case you have to put five on the amount and then you have to enable this so this means if I'm ordering five I'm gonna have free shipping error message if there's something wrong this is the message it's gonna show you can choose it however you can change it however you want and the allow countries if you choose this it is gonna allow the shipment for every country also you can choose specific countries in this case we can choose United States debug uh, leave it at no it's normally it's no you can choose to enable it show method if not applicable um, this is if this method is not there if you choose yes this is how you're gonna see it okay so refresh this is how you're gonna see it if if the method is not there um, if it's uh, if it's not enabled then if you click on um, show method if not applicable this is how it's gonna be shown I mean this doesn't make sense if you're not using the method because they're just gonna see that it is not allowed but you can always choose to show it that it's there but you're not using it or you can enable disable from time to time it's all up to you alright let's um so most of the time I keep it at no but that's an option just so you know uh, sort order I covered this many times you can always sort your shipment methods so if um, you can just choose to show flat rate as the first option then under that you can choose table rates free shipping or you can just mix it all up put UPS on top whatsoever 
So right now we completed our UPS shipment method. If you did it right, um, it should work on the checkout page. This covers it all for UPS. You can apply it for the rest of the methods. It is going to be very similar. Alright, once again this is Baron from Attack Interactive and thank you for watching this video.